Hey guys, it's Decker in here, and today's video, I'm gonna teach you how to clean your PC like a pro. That is right. If you guys didn't know, I need to clean out my PC today because you can see behind me, I'm doing some system maintenance, and I thought it'd be a good opportunity to clean out my PC because I had just cleaned out my top PC over there recently. So like you can see here, I actually cleaned it out recently. It looks very shiny and new. Even if I turn off the RGB in here, you can see it's really nice. However, the PC on the bottom I have over here. I have not cleaned out in quite a while. You can actually tell by just these dusty fans right here, this whole edging actually needs to be cleaned on out, even the back panel stuff. So I thought it'd be a good opportunity to teach you guys how to clean your PC like a pro, like I do my stuff on every three months. I try to do it every three months at least. So the thing we are going to need for this occasion is the following. Some canned air like you see here, and also some paper towels just kind of just clean up the inside of it, and that's practically about it. So let's get started. So as you can probably tell about the PC outside because you can see just by the top alone there's like a ton of dust. So what I want to do is I want to clean the top side and also front side and back side with some paper towels. And then the inside we're actually going to clean with uh, the can air. So let's just pop this on open. So this case right here actually has a front panel which you can kind of just slip it off from the bottom. There's a slip, right? And if I pop this in all four corners, you see it pops open like that and you see just from that alone, my camera, just from that alone, it is very, very dusty. So what we're gonna do, clean this, is really just gonna pop open this. We're also gonna open it from its side, which you can probably see here. I'm just making sure the camera's like in a good spot. Yes, getting a spot. So what we're gonna do is set up a set pan over here for the timing. You see the interior of our PC is very much dusty like. Oh, what is this? Holy crap, that is hella dusty. Doesn't really help. I haven't cleaned it for like maybe like six or a year. So that's why you want to clean out your PC for like a year because you don't want dust buildup to happen like this because it's very, very bad for its performance. So let's clean the inside first, then we'll do everything else. So, also, when you usually clean fans, you want to usually put a finger on it so it doesn't get stuck. So, uh, yeah, let's just do a little montage. So if you were gonna clean the actual tempered glass on it, all you literally have to do is get yourself some glass cleaner like you see here. I will have a link to it down below. And basically you just spray the inside of it and you also spray the outside. And once you've done that, you can either do the paper towel or you do the glass cleaner wipe that usually comes with clean glasses and then you just kind of wipe it on down like you see here. It's working pretty well. And with that, you can remove any dust and uh, other things that are on it, even fingerprints. So if you want to clean like the fingerprints off your case, you can really just do that and you'll be all good to go. So I just finished cleaning up the PC. You can see paper towel the top side of it, on the front side, glass cleaned of course, and also cleaned the inside of it. And the back side is pretty clean too. Now I won't be able to clean it 100% just because like, it's been for a year. So it's not always, you can always have to be perfect with your cleanup. It just has to be like, you know it's clean like this, like you know this has been clean, and with that your performance should be fine now. So now what we need to do is plug it back in, make sure everything works. So we are back on my stream PC. That's the PC I usually use when I actually record and stream. And that was the PC we cleaned up. So uh, yeah, honestly, much better than it's clean. I don't have any problems with it. And honestly, sometimes the performance can be noticeable when in your task manager under like the uh, GPU, because usually the GPU will have a temp, and then usually that temp can say like, hey, you've been around like maybe like 50C, the 48C, when you actually have some thermal problems, and usually thermal problems can be caused by dusting uh, or not cleaning your PC. And with mine, just like now at like 42C to 45C, which is good. I don't know what it was prior. I should have taken a check on it because that would have been smart. And that way I could like show the comparison. Maybe I'll do that next time I do one of these videos. But if you guys did find this video helpful, then you know what to do. Make sure to smash the like button. Get subscribed to help me sound future content. And until then, I'll see you guys in the tech video. Tech Grant, out.